This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got Jermaine Dupri, and in this one, he's saying, you know, hip-hop is in danger because even though it's on top right now, there's not a lot of substance going on, and he's not he's not wrong about that. He doesn't know how to fix it. Just there's not a lot of substance. There's not a, a lot of skill set. It's a lot of braggadocio. I mean, we've always had the easy raps, but... This is the first time where we don't have anything really complex dominating. You know, you just got the the OGs, Drakes, Kendricks, J. Coles, those kind of guys. But, like, you don't have anyone new really. You know, you had Corday, but he didn't blow up that big. Damson Idris and Lori Harvey, of course, they do their PR Valentine's Day stunts and show them cuddling by a fire, uh, you know, showing that they're in love. This is how Lori Harvey is getting her um, fashion gigs now with Kith and everything else. She couldn't just stay with Michael B. Jordan. That wasn't enough. She has to have new tabloids and headlines and all that other kind of stuff. So she's going to dance an address. His days are numbered. You got about a year, buddy. Then she's going to move on to the next guy. Um, I hope it doesn't destroy his career because, uh, you know, he's pretty good on Snowfall and everything, and he has a, a big career ahead of him. Um Michael B. Jordan, I'd have to say he dodged a bullet, you know, like, because she's an opportunist, you know, and it is what it is, you know, you just gotta, you're in Hollywood, man. Um, Tack Stone, don't forget, Tack Stone snitched on Troy Ave first, he had his lawyer point the finger at Troy Ave saying, no, he shot in the club, he had the gun, but really it was Tack Stone who brought it in, they just took it from him, and don't forget, Tack Stone killed Banger, okay, his uh, ta- uh, Troy as friend. Of course, he's gonna testify against Tax Tone. Tax Tone straight up kill Banger for no reason. Troy Ave wasn't a threat. He didn't have to pull a gun. He hated Troy Ave so much that he felt like he had to pull a gun on him. I mean, that that's just like toxic, bro. This shows you how bad of a person Tax Tone was. He had a great podcast. I can separate the two guys, okay? But as a person, he was trash, okay? And obviously, Casanova was trash too because he's locked up too. <laughs> He just kind of changed once he got around Jay-Z and everything. But he started out as trash. He, he got better, but it was too late. Then we got uh, ASAP Rocky. And people are giving ASAP Rocky. You know, we do too. We call him ASAP Stedman over here, right? But really, ASAP Rocky has his own thing going on. And what? You know, this is how you would have pictured Rihanna having a family. You know? They're married. They're having another kid. It's a, it's a great thing. But, you know, it's going to get some jokes, okay? But... All in all, a lot of people are trying to come up with conspiracy theories and all this other stuff. That's just, it's just crazy. You know, there's nothing deeper to this than these two have dated on and off for about seven years. And around the past two years, they decided to make a family together. Okay. And they did. So it is what it is. This is Jordan Tower with JT News.